using bees to be healthy. A New Mexico researcher is helping train honeybees to detect a deadly disease. It could be a new low-cost way for developing countries to catch that disease early. News 13's Lizay Mitri has that story. Dean, a group of foreign graduate students called Bee Healthy teamed up with a Los Alamos National Lab researcher to test whether bees can in fact detect diabetes. While many fear their sting, these honeybees could be more help than harm to your health. At least that's what Los Alamos National Lab researcher Robert Wingo is hoping. He started working with bees about 10 years ago, training them like search dogs to detect explosives. Then, about a month ago, students called him up wondering if these busy bees could also help detect diseases like diabetes. So at first I was like, eh, I don't know. But after looking into it further, he agreed to give it a try, helping the five students competing for the Holt Prize. The winner gets a million dollars to start up their project. They lined it up and I flew out there with several boxes of gear and uh, we landed, I landed, we grabbed the gear, went out to a beekeeper's place, collected bees, and started training bees. In Boston, they put the bees in harnesses and trained them to stick their tongues out when they smelled high levels of acetone. People with diabetes often have higher concentrations of acetone in their breath. The bees got the smell, then a reward of sugar water to lick. They did that over and over until eventually the bees just stuck out their tongues at the smell. And it worked with people too. We believe there's sufficient evidence to merit uh, looking at this more. The sweet promise of success, but not without a few stings along the way. Uh, it hurts every time. It, it does. It hurts every single time. The team of foreign graduate students he helped is hoping bees will become a self sustaining tool for detection in third world countries. People can sell the honey and wax from the beehives and use that money to finance the diabetes detection program. Dean, back to you. Jose, thank you. The team is one of six finalists. The winner will be announced next month in New York.